Hi, I'm Marta Beckett with Keller Williams, and in today's environment, I wanted to share with you that there are different ways of seeing a home if you're buying a home or if you want to put one on the market and not have people coming your house. It's called 3D, and uh, James is here with me today, and he is going to explain how this works. Hi, James. How are you? Good, Marta. How are you? Good. So tell us about this video camera that you have here, this fancy piece of machinery. Yeah, so 3D tours have been around for a little while. Um, they're catching up more now that you have kind of younger people getting into the buyer's market in their 20s that are very tech savvy and want to look at a place before they actually go there. Um, so what I wanted to do first, I wanted to take you through a couple of the features that these tours can give you, especially in today's environment, but all the time. So I'm going to switch over screens here. And here we are. So part of the reason that we do a 3D tour is like I said, so we can visit a space and view it without actually being there. And in taking these pictures, you can view it a couple of different ways. One of the features that we get when we take all these pictures is the first one is called a dollhouse view. Now, if you've ever looked at a dollhouse, kind of your grandmother had one or you had one or whoever had one, you get to see all the rooms kind of individually at the same time. So you can zoom into a room, you can zoom out and spin it around. Um, it's just a cool way of looking at the property, you know, kind of from a, not quite a bird's eye view, but taking a step back and looking at it that way. The next thing you get after you take these pictures with a 3D tour is you're able to look at it in a floor plan view. So if you've ever seen architectural floor plans, it looks similar to that. It doesn't have quite all of the, you know, the articulated which doors open which ways but you are able to look at it. This is an example of a four story or three story house with a basement that I did a while ago. And you've got kind of the first floor, the second floor, you know, the main level and then the basement down here. Not only are you able to look at them individually, but then down in the basement, you can see the actual outline of the property, you know, above it. That's cool. So one of the other cool things um, that this camera does is it's able to measure space along with just taking pictures. So anybody that clicks onto the 3D tour, if you've ever, if you have ever wondered you know, how big the garage is, or how big the master bedroom is, you're actually able to say, look at one of the floor plans like this and take a measurement. Here's the garage over here. So it's, I know that just by clicking on here, the garage is 23 feet by 23 feet. And then if you wanted to, you could actually step into the garage on the tour, measure the ceiling height, and get a full square footage of the garage. You know, say you wanted a square footage of this wall right here. You had some furniture you wanted to put on this wall. Well, I can see that it's 21 feet and 7 inches. You know, the main bedroom here is 12 feet by 10 inches. You know. That is really neat. Oh, my gosh, and you can do it that way, too. That's awesome. <laughs> So stepping yeah. into the space, this is a lofted space I did a little while ago, and say, you know, you wanted to know the full ceiling height, okay, going from the floor to the ceiling at the middle, 19 feet, 8 inches, and you can see that the door is 8 feet, 11 inches here, which is just a cool way of, you know, it's, it's just more detail that you're able to get than, you know, wandering into a property with a tape measure, you know. Well, yes, yeah, it's, it's almost better than being there because you get you get those kind of measurements and, and mm -hmm. right away. And anybody can do that, right? If they, they, they have this. Anybody yeah. with a tour can do this. So you yeah. can do it, you know, the, the realtor can do it. Anybody that has access to the tours are, is able to do all this. Great, yeah. Yeah, the next thing, um, so what you get with a 3D tour, it takes these 3D images, but from there you're able to pull 2D images just like any other photographer. You know, so it's like another level of information that you're able to get at any time. So I have this, this here is the, the space that we kind of looked at for a second. Here's the garage here again, here's that wall. And if you look kind of close, you can see little individual circles, the big red dot right there. But every single one of these circles is where I took a picture, okay? So any, while you're going through the tour, it's basically, a different place that you're able to stand. And what that means is that any one of these circles is a place that you're able to pull 2D pictures from. So say I go through the, go through the property after it's done, I pull out 25, 30, 40 pictures or whatever, how many, however many it needs to 
um, showcase the property and you're going through it and you say, oh, this is a cool new angle. You know, maybe I didn't pick up this in the first place. You can send me an email or Marta can send me an email and say, hey, we really like this shot of the kitchen. Can you pull that, pull that shot for me? And bing, bang, boom, you're done. Okay. Great. So like you have a lot of pictures that weren't necessarily in these shots and you can, you can then get those for us. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah. Great. So now I'm going to click over to kind of our residential page here. And this is exactly what a 3D tour comes up looking like. You get a little play button, just like any video. So I'm gonna click on it. it. Takes a second to load. And you get this dollhouse kind of introductory to it. And it pulls you right into the space. So now from here, I talked about those little circles. I'm able to click around and explore the space as if I were walking through it, you know, while I was there. So I can walk into a bedroom, walk around the first floor. I'm gonna pull out to a floor plan view. Mm -hmm. So now here we got, we're on the, the second floor, okay? Mm -hmm. Pull down to the first floor. I wanna click into here. There's a little bar down here that I think is kind of neat. And here we are in the basement or the first floor. Oh yeah. That's great. That is a really nice space. Okay, I can, it's really nice. I can pull out to dollhouse view. Say I want to get a different angle. There's the kitchen that we were just in, kind of the living space right there. And let's say for a second, I want to get the, let's see, floor plan. I want to get the measurements for this space right here. Okay, so I'm going to click over here to measurement mode. Like I said, anybody can do this, start a measurement. Measure this wall right here. Let's see, we can move it over. So I know that this wall is roughly 21 feet and three inches, you know? Yeah. I try to tell people that, you know, nothing's absolutely perfect, but 99% of the time it's accurate, like to the inch, which I think is really cool. So then say I want to measure this wall. 19 and three inches, you know. Great, that is so, so cool, really cool. Love it. So then from there, I talked about these pictures. Here was, a, here was one of the properties I did a little while ago. From this standpoint, you know, I thought there's a nice view of the living room, take a picture of that. Here's the kitchen. And I can go back and get the same picture if, you know, except mm -hmm. now I like to introduce this camera too. I think this is one of my, one of my favorite parts of it is just the technology. So in getting into 3D tours, there are a couple of different um, brands out there. So I think GoPro has one. There are a couple off-brand ones. And then the one that tops the market is called Matterport. Okay. So this is one of the Matterport kind of cameras. Um, the reason I went with this one, the GoPros I tried out in layman's terms, when a GoPro takes a picture, you get two lenses. Okay, you get one in the front and then one in the back. And it's, like I said, it's called kind of a fisheye lens. It's one of those really circular lenses. Uh, what I found in, de in figuring out one of those is that you get distortion on the sides. Okay, you don't want distortion. So what I got with this camera, this camera actually has nine cameras kind of in this box. Um, so you've got one, two, three kind of pointing up, one, two, three pointing across, and then one, two, three pointing down. So in getting all of those different shots, that's how it's able to get those measurements or get those, the ability to measure in all those you know, angles. So it's pointing down, across, and up, and the widest you know, breadth of information. And what's cool about this, it spins around on itself. <laughs> yeah, I think Kind of cool. So now what it's doing, there are about six different pivot points that it goes to. Um, and it's just taking information. You know, once it gets this information, it'll send it to me and it compiles it into the tour that we see you know, now. It's pretty simple. You know, it's simple, it's cool. You get all this info and you're able to visit it at any time. Um, 
it's just a cool new way that it's getting gaining more ground, getting more popular. You're able to look at the space as if you were there, you know, without actually going to the space. Um, and then say, you love it. Marta, I want to stop in and make sure that it looks exactly like it looks in the, in the 3D tour. I haven't had any complaints yet. And you, you're done. Yeah, it's great. And, you know, it gives you the, that perfect idea of it. So, you know, if it's something you want to, you know, you want to go see in person. So, mm -hmm. well, thanks, James. That's awesome. I really appreciate you explaining the camera and how that works. And I appreciate your time. Thanks yeah. a lot. Yeah, see you later. <laughs>